Lore Hammer or your hammer. Smooth, so smooth. Um, For anyone who doesn't know, it's a mm -hmm. fun, stupid game where Tom and I tell each other two stories of Warhammer lore. One, 100% true, accurate lore hammer. The other, made up nonsense, your hammer. Oh. Um, pal, yeah, man. Uh, right, so do you want to go first or second? Uh, I'll go second. Okay. Got some um, ones. Mine very quick, very easy oh, to do, okay. very very simple. Uh, so I've got, I've got, uh, you know, I like to go on a the theme. Okay. I like to keep mine close together. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it makes it more um, distracting than, or it's a bit easier to make up something for. I won't lie, <laughs> right. um, they're just two just completely bonkers things. Okay. Uh, but both about ooh, internet culture, mm. and internet culture references in Warhammer Forty Thousand. Ooh, okay. So. Uh, the first one. Memes. Warhammer memes. Um, so do you remember we got into a oh. very heated argument? Yeah, the black and the, the black and blue or gold and white dress from a couple of years back. Yeah, so what, what colour is this dress? It's clearly white and gold. White and gold. You're just <laughs> a psychopath. And you're wrong. <laughs> you know, I, I would have, if I hadn't been proven wrong, I would have taken that to my fucking grave. But that would have been wrong. the hell you, I would have do died Do you still on. see this as fucking... Yeah, I still see it as white and gold. Because I... It's I, only I, because I've had it, like, proven to me in Photoshop that it's not. But yeah, like, there's... I saw a great video where it can, like, trick you into um, uh, seeing it either way. Okay. Uh, fuck. Oh, fuck Get out of here, Google. Uh, um... This isn't very Warhammer so far. Are we getting to it? We're getting to okay. it. Okay, yeah, right. Okay, right. It's this guy. Sorry, mm -hmm. sorry, friend. Um, so you see, you see it like an idiot, right? Yeah. Well, isn't it like forty or fifty percent of people see it that way? Isn't it just like a a, like like, a thing about how your eyes work? But yeah, okay. He's colored shifted it. Sure. Yeah. But apparently, if you do that a couple of times, it fixes your broken brain. Really. And um, then you won't be able to go back and see it. Uh, so what is it? Is it overexposed? Is it like a flash? Um, like so they use a something? no. They basically use like a good example of it's just how your brain puts together the information. Mm -hmm. Where like if you so it's like oh look at these random images. Okay. And if you just take a snapshot of it, yeah, then it's just how your brain is like taking those shades and thinking like is this a a uh, white and gold dress in the dark or is it a black and blue dress in the light? Right. I mean, still, that whole time it's looked white and gold to me. Oh, it's because your eyes are broken and your brain is, <laughs> your brain is wrong. Okay, so, I've got stupid head. You've got stupid head. <laughs> it's a medically so, recognized condition. Um, does the Emperor of Mankind himself Ooh. make a reference to this dress? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Am I going to get any more detail other than that? Literally that. <laughs> okay. And the other one is, do imperial nobles dab? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> oh, wow. What is the, uh... What is the answer here? What is the answer? I guess asking further questions is a little taboo. Uh, you can, <laughs> would you could try, really but I'll probably not answer. Oh my god. Um, Fucking dabbing. Do they like boomer dab as well? Or do they do cool cool young hip dabbing? I think it's probably more, more bo boomery. I'm guessing anyone who's going to write <laughs> about yeah. someone doing a dab in a 40k book. It's going to be old and awkward. It's probably not going to be the coolest dab. <laughs> um, just, uh, oh. I don't know. What well, even is a cool dab? I don't know. I think you have to be under the age of 20. Mm. I think you have to really commit as well. And yeah, oh God, it's all about confidence. Yeah. It's like doing a backflip. It. Mm. It's 90% confidence. <laughs> you just got to throw yourself into it like it's the last thing you're going to do with your life. Yeah. Because, you know, if you do it wrong, it may well be the end of your life. Oh, Just like yeah. a bad, a mistimed dab <laughs> yeah. is social suicide. Exactly. Just like a poor, poorly flip executed is backflip, physical suicide. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> right. Sure. Oh, um, but the dress. So. Oh, I'm just trying em to imagine. Emperor of mankind. I can imagine someone doing an awkward salute that ends up being like a dab. 
like a bow, like a salute and bow. Mm -hmm. Kind of, I can imagine that. Um, I'm trying to imagine, because the, the emperor doesn't ever do very much. He's very rarely, almost every time it's mentioned, it's like someone talking about a thing he said or did. It's really unusual for him to actually say or do anything. Because um, they, they want to keep that air of mystery about him. Um, I cannot imagine a context where he's like, oh yeah, it's like the white and blue dress. <laughs> it's all a matter of perspective. I remember 38,000 years ago. <laughs> it was still white and gold, so, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, just wrong. Just wrong all round. Yeah. Um, Is that why he got so angry and conquered the world? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because as far as he was concerned, it was like red and green, and everyone else was wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was why he made the Thunder Warriors or whatever, <laughs> and yeah. rampaged around. Purged all the unbelievers. Because of, uh, of this dress. So yeah, it's a reference, a reference oh. to the dress. Um because I can totally or, imagine him being like talking about perspectives and like, oh, it's from a certain point of view. Mm. Mm, anything can look like anything, like a dress. <laughs> <laughs> I like this very specific dress. <laughs> like on Terra. <laughs> M2. <laughs> um, oh, fuck me. I don't want either of them to be true. Mm. Um, oh, but we have got the new rule. Oh. Where they could both be not true Ooh, or both true. You can use your once per year or something yeah. card. But who'd be crazy enough to use that this early? We still have. That's the mind game. Maybe you assume you're not going to use it early. Mm. So you're going to cheeky, cheeky get the sneaky, me. Get the sneaky win in there. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's what I'm going to go for. I think, I think they're both wrong. Wow! I, mean, I Fuck. think I think you've played your <laughs> hand early to like Ooh. slide it under my notice. Oh, oh my god! Holy shit! It's okay, bold. I don't know. I feel like that because if I get this wrong, it's so it's really unlikely that you're doing that. If you get it wrong, then you have to dab every <laughs> time anyone says dab in a donation <laughs> for the rest of the stream. You have to dab. <laughs> No. <laughs> Why would I agree to that? <laughs> I have never and will never dab. Um, oh, it's really unlikely. Odds are, you know, it's a 50-50. And I'm going for the... I'm flipping a coin and calling edge here. Boom! Edge! <laughs> yeah. Okay, love it. It's bold. It's a bold play, but I just... I can't... I just, I, oh, surely not. Surely neither. Surely, How could it either be true? Surely you just... Okay. I'm doing it. Did. Edge. Edge. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, right. What is that's the wrong that's the wrong mouse. How do I do the thing? Uh, that's not the thing either. What am I doing with my life? Um, okay, what are people saying? Uh, the dress is from TTS. The uh, thing is from something else. Uh, man, chat is divided, but I think a lot of people agree with me. Okay, so, uh, you're wrong. <gasps> they're both true. Oh my god, if that was, if that was the case. <laughs> so, they're actually closer to both being true. Oh my god. But, uh, one is confirmed not true. Okay. And, um... I've got some. I've got some text to read for you. God, hang on. I remember someone's drawing a lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little, little visual fun for everyone here. Uh, so, um, so this is from the book about book about the emperor, and he walked knee deep in clinging fog which was either pale gold or smoky azure, depending on the viewer in question. <laughs> uh, so that's your... What book's that from? The Master of Mankind. I've read that book. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, even better. <laughs> even better. <laughs> um, oh. uh, so there's that one. So, um, man, <laughs> I, I swear I saved 
I saved the image from this page um, because people were like, they dab in 40K. Mm -hmm. um, because there's a reference of an Imperial Noble guy. Mm -hmm. He comes along and he holds one arm up to his left, God. bows his head and puts his other arm across his chest. And people lost their mind saying he's dabbing. Right. Um, but it was confirmed by the author saying, no, this is like just an old timey style of bowing. That oh. that description is vague enough that people are like, oh, it's a dab. But actually it was like an old fancy bow. And I think literally the same bow I that remember, they do in... I, I remember there being a Witcher that, meme about it. Was it this kind of thing? I think this um, is... Where does he do it? So it's, some, it's a thing a bit like that. Um, well, they like stick their arm out and their head and, down and do a... Yeah, they're just saying that this is like a, like a medieval bow that medieval people did. And so the dab wasn't real. Oh my God. Um, so the dab is a fun misinterpreted your hammer. Mm -hmm. And the emperor referencing the dress is <laughs> law hammer. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun <laughs> times? Wow. I guess I prefer it that I, I think I would rather a dress reference than a dab. I don't want Imperial nobles dabbing at each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So at least oh, I may be wrong, but at least I don't hate it. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's okay. That's nice. Um, so you're wrong. So every time someone uh, Dinix and da says dab, then dabs. Right? Almost a dab. That's the rule. Wow. Okay. So uh, it's over to you. Time for you to. Okay. So for mine. Wait. Um, how much can you confuse Tom? Uh, your hammer or Lawhammer Ben edition, which is just me being baffled. Okay. So, um... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so... Oh, no. There is... You know, um... Oh, no. <laughs> you know the how, um... The Land Raider. Mm -hmm. Fam famous tank in 40k. Yep. Look at it go. Mm -hmm. Boop, boop. <laughs> toot, toot. <laughs> All aboard. But did you know the Land Raider... It's not just a weapon of war. Right. It's also a fun, the subject of a fun song for young children in the 41st millennium. Okay. When preschool children need a little sing-along <laughs> to like get themselves going, <laughs> they don't sing about wheels on buses or um, mer sailing merrily down the stream uh, like our preschoolers do. They sing about how the tracks on the land raider crush the heretics. The oh, heretics, fuck. okay, the heretics. shit, yeah, the yeah. The tracks I love on the land raider crush, crush the heretics. heretics all day long. Nice. Okay, yeah. That's one very brief, <laughs> like little okay. story yeah. from 40k. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. Okay. Perfect. Hate it. <laughs> Sounds hilarious. Kind of love it. Um, the other. The other story is about Horus. Uh, let's get a fun... Man, I'd say of head. all the Primarchs, mm -hmm. Horus is probably the one I know the, know the least amount. Yeah, I know what you mean. They don't really actually talk... He's barely in a lot of the books. Once he turns bad, he's just kind of like this sinister presence and he doesn't. you never really actually find out much about him. Um, look, when he was good boy... He was bald. He was very happy. And then when he was like on the edge, he like used regain or something or hair plugs. Okay. And then when he turned bad, it all, all good all fell out. Oh. Not sure what's happening there. Apparently, hair plugs path to the dark side. Yeah, or like you know, good or evil. You know, it's fine, fine to lose your hair. That's all right. But don't be a filthy middle ground neutral. <laughs> filthy <laughs> neutrals. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Because if he's just put hair plugs in, or mm. he's got like a little like comb over or something, mm. yeah, you can't trust this guy. Because you know anyone who's willing to lie to themselves, mm. they're gonna lie to you. Oh, I see. So, or, or maybe he's doing the Bruce Willis thing. Okay, where just, he shaves it to look cooler. Right. And then he let the widow's peak come back. Okay, so is this a, is this bit about no no uh, no? I just got Horus's hair, hair so, um, before the Horus heresy, mm -hmm. the emperor. Created the Primarchs, mm -hmm. right? 
and he created them to like lead his armies and conquer the galaxy in a great crusade yeah. to reunite humanity. Uh -huh. um, while he was working on them, he had them all in their little like incubator test tube pods. Right. Um, and something happened. The Chaos Gods interfered and scattered them across the galaxy. Sure. And so he had to do his great crusade without them and then slowly pick them up on the way. Yeah. Um, but what you might not know is why or how they were scattered across the galaxy. Yeah, I was, I was literally about to ask, just like, okay, to flesh it out, I'm not sure where this is going. Like, yeah, what the fuck did they actually do there? Did someone, did, you know, Slanesh in like a sexy <laughs> cat burglar's outfit, like sneak in in the middle of the night? Do oh, like fuck, they, they do an they do Ocean's a 11. <laughs> oh, the Chaos God, Ocean's 11 heist. <laughs> yeah. to oh, my steal. God, and that the Zinch is... there going, ooh, but is this the plan? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll and never tell. Then it keeps, <laughs> it keeps changing. Oh, I love it, man. It's a heist within a heist within a heist. Fuck, someone, someone make that. Someone make that, uh, like, you know, five minute animation and send it to us <laughs> yeah. god love that yeah just just do a hundred hours of work off the cuff if okay. you don't mind right um cool so um so what happened was Horus did it what so, he was a baby no future Horus uh. so you know how the warp works in mysterious ways <sighs> and time moves backwards sideways forwards and up and down and inside out I don't, I don't really know that. The weirdness of the war. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So what happens is when Horus is like fatally wounded mm -hmm. by an evil sword and he's been sent to a, like a chaos cult temple to like revive him, he's under the influence of chaos and he has like uh, visions of the past and the future um, while they try to tempt him and persuade him and lie to him to turn him evil. And he sees visions of the future of the emperor worshipped as a god. And he sees visions of the past of like the emperor not being the kind daddy he thought he was, but actually being like this cold calculating prick who wants nothing more than to use his sons as tools to become a god himself. Right. But while he's visit, uh, uh, having a vision of the past, he's, he stood there like in the chamber where the emperor's like working on the Primarchs. And he's like listening to him say like, you know, his evil plan, revealing his like motivations, Horus gets really upset and is like, no, Darth Vader style. Because that's like the moment he like breaks and is like, I'm going to betray them all. The Emperor's lied to me. Okay. Um, and when he's doing his big Darth Vader, no, he's, he's, act, he's not, just, not just a vision of the past. The Chaos Gods have, through the warp, astrally projected him into the past. And his new psychic shockwave combined with like the Chaos powers that are like whisking him there it creates the he smashes everything around him and it creates this tear in the warp okay. inside the emperor's like lab and all the like <laughs> tubes with the test tube primarchs get like sucked into the warp and scattered across the galaxy okay and so it's like this time loop of like horus turns bad because he was like scattered away from the emperor yeah yeah and all the primarchs like half of them turn bad essentially because they had bad upbringings mm -hmm. Um, and aren't like hand raised by the emperor and it's like this closed loop of they turn bad because they got scattered but they got scattered because he turns bad and it's this dumb perpetual time loop yes it's wheels on the bus is the fucking true one <laughs> <laughs> that one it's, it ends with a little benism it sounds plausible i've got no idea i hate the wheels on the land raider but that one has got the Benism. God, you used another astral projection. You used that in one a couple of weeks ago. Surely it can't be, you can't be two astral projections. I think it's just something that you <laughs> what like. What did I do before with the astral projection? It was the Inquisitor uh, oh, blowing up the planet and right. he astral projects through time to <laughs> stop himself and then they're locked and it's this eternal loop. Yeah. Like there's, there's a lot of similarities with that other story. Um, oh, there sure is. Whereas, God, I feel like somewhere they could have had the... I think there are a lot of verses you could do with the the tracks on the Land Raider. Uh, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just using that. I'm just <laughs> cutting straight through. Do we need to pad pad for time? No, I don't think so. Um, you I can just, wow, you're, you've never been this sure before. I, Normally you are really like, oh my God, it could be either of them. But, but this time you're just like, <laughs> pow! I just love that other one. Um, I think it was just, I was, I was listening 
Did you stop listening and just thought, this one's boring. I, <laughs> go I won't lie. I was getting a bit bored and I was still kind of thinking about the the Chaos Gods oh God, doing the Ocean's, 11, the Ocean's 11 heist. It was like, this is so much more fun than God, like, oh, Horus and his dad issues and then there's some astral projection and, oh, there's a funny, you know, you did the funny Darth Vader impression, but... Uh, yeah, like, man, that could be true. And I don't, you know, I know nothing about the Horus heresy. Mm -hmm. And so you, at this stage, you can kind of say anything and it could be plausible. But I like the, um, I like the, the, the other one. I don't know where that would be. It's got to be an old book or something somewhere, but probably, probably is fake. But that's the one I'm choosing <laughs> because it is more fun and it held my baby like attention better <laughs> is that the key do i need really short rhyme. stories <laughs> the children's nursery rhyme did a lot better than oh the sensible story about emotion and pain like nope i need i need rhymes Bam. i need it to rhyme more so i'm going i'm <laughs> okay. going children's nursery rhyme pal also i think um your boy mm. is surely he doesn't listen to those kind of like nursery rhymes or anything anymore mm. Because if he was a bit younger, I could imagine you hearing that on fucking YouTube on repeat or something. Uh, and being like, this gives me an idea. This gives me an idea. <laughs> um, but no, I'm, I'm going, I'm going, um, nursery rhyme, for sure. Bam. Just in. In Just Fucking in. Well, shit, man, you are right. Ooh, Yeah. Yep, that's true. True law. Oh, fuck. I didn't but, even think that both could be true. I just completely forgot that. Yeah. I was just committed. No, the Horus thing is mostly true. Okay. Like, he do all of it is true, except him going, no, is not what sends the pods through the warp. That bit is what I made up. Right, okay. The rest of him, like, having visions of the past and the future is all true. Oh, shit. Um, but I thought, wouldn't it be a crap story if it was, like, this predestined thing where... It happens on a. It a happens loop. because of it. he's the one that sends them back through the warp, mm. and it because I hate closed loop time travel stories. They're just it means everything's destined and no no one's actions matter and decisions are pointless. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. Destined, so who gives a shit? Um, so I thought that would be a crap dumb story, but you didn't bite for it on it at all. It was the getting well i guess the astral projection was true but was it used <laughs> yeah. to that it felt like oh they're it being the loop again you'd had a loop before and was like nah, yeah. i've heard this shit i've heard these ben stories wow I, um, yeah i thought that was even more a point in my favor that you'd be like oh we wouldn't make up the same story twice no i'm not you know <laughs> You, you suddenly, you made your game too complex. Oh my god, I played myself. You played yourself rather than, um, than playing me. Wow. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, where's the rhyme from? Oh yeah, it's from um, uh, one of the Cyphus Kane novels. Oh fuck, of course it is. Oh, there's, um, there's an Inquisitor, Lady Inquisitor, who like gets a bit stressed out in the middle of a battle and like hums it to herself. <laughs> Just like a reassuring. Okay, that's fun. <laughs> like little cool. hum. Um, wow. Um, uh, on the Underator. Uh, the lyrics aren't given, apparently. Oh. This guy's filled his own one in. Only the tracks on the Land Raider Crush the Heretics. Right, the okay. Bit, like, not all of them. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember what. Um, oh which, god! Which like I see now. Now the this. more I think about it, the more like I feel like I could have been tricked by that thing. That because I thought like the this thing I could imagine being somewhere, but if I'd have done a bit more mental, uh, you didn't arithmetic. think about it at all. You just you just homed in like a missile on it. Um. Yeah, and I promise you, I have no idea about either of these two subjects. Um, I have not read the Cyphus Kane books. Uh... Although part of me was thinking, um, maybe I shouldn't ever reference the Cyphus Kane thing, because the whole series is parody. Uh, a lot. Okay. Like, I've, I've read a lot of dumb, dumb lore from those books, mm. but I've not used most of them, because they're just kind of like, 
it's hard to make fun of something that is already a parody of something right. else. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But I thought, oh man, I really thought this one would get you. And good work, dude. You are getting a lot better at this. Man, just... One, one time. One time was self-assured. But now, God, now I'm... Could have gone so wrong. Could have been tricked. But we didn't. Our powers combined. I think we're drawing again now. Even Stevens. Yeah. 